In the Hebrew language, nouns and verbs are defined by prefixes and suffixes that guide us to the gender of the word and whether it's singular or plural and more. It's fascinating to note that most of the Torah is actually presented in the plural, but the Aseris Hadibros, the Ten Commandments, are presented in the singular. I am the Lord, your God, who took you out of Egypt, you the individual. At the beginning of this week's portion, there's also a departure from the norm. The first word, re'e, see, look, observe, that directs us to weigh the actions that we perform and look at cause and effect, is also written in the singular. Maimonides teaches that before we act, we need to think of a scale, the old kind of scale, you know, the one that has two sides. And half of the scale has our merits, and the other half of the scale has uh, our mistakes, uh, our with the areas that we're culpable, and it's even, exactly even. The next act that I'm going to perform is going to determine where we are. Are we really in God's favor? Um, will this act bring benefit to us and to those around us? This one act will tip the scale. Maimonides goes on and tells us that we need, before acting, to think of the entire world, a scale that holds all of the merits and demerits of the entire world, and it's 50-50. My act that I'm going to perform will determine how the scale will go. And will it bring favor and glory and honor to the world or distance the world from its destiny, distance its world from God? My small act this seems to be a bit far-fetched. But what Maimonides is teaching us is that if we think about our actions we will always underestimate their value. And Maimonides is teaching us that the Torah is teaching us that for the human, there is no such thing as a small act. Every act, for better or for worse, has cosmic ramifications. So may Hashem help us, especially at this time as we're getting closer to the high holidays. And we think of scales and weighing. As a matter of fact, the symbol, the sign for the month of Elul is a scale. May Hashem help us that to have confidence in ourselves and to value everything that we do. And, to, and may that propel us to act in a beautiful, wonderful way always. Have a fabulous Shabbos.